He's not like consensus oh. top 10 as he was before, but he's still very, very much worth your time as we get to, see, get to see Helper a little bit. Get to see Helper making it into top four. The Sora putting in work, and the Fahrenheit is certainly turning up the temperature. Okay, yeah. per I love that little pun you made. All right, Mr. Fahrenheit, as you, like you said, turning up the temperature, 82% on a Helper. It's getting a little bit too hot in here. Big counter going to be sending Mr. Fahrenheit away from this stage, but is it going to be for not? I mean, it is. We get to side B instead. Going to be sending Helper into the blast zone and ending it with uh, uh, the first bucket rate gone. Only about 30 seconds into the match. The Thundaga going to be negating that upbeat from Roy. Mr. Fahrenheit, be really careful here and to thankfully not get, you know, another freeze, but we do get it in the, in the end. Trying to go for the drop down up air, not going to be in Enough. Great, uh, uh, excellent parry from Helper allows him to start off this beautiful combo, sending Mr. Fire back off stage. I love the mix-up with that air dodge to ledge rather than going for a low recovery with the up B. This allows Mr. Fire to get this jab into the back air. Boom, bam, bop, do it again. No, we're going to wait it out, so we're a little bit floaty. We don't! We go for the forward air. Boom. We're going to do Helper. No jump as well. Missed time to ever so slightly, which is a little bit too early. That's what you got to do against Sora a lot of times. Take advantage of his weight, find the free damage wherever you can, and turn that into power. Oh, soft hit forwarder. I, my, my bad, my complete bad. We go for the down air instead of the forwarder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You either get the spike or you get the sour hitbox, which confirms into a forward air or back air or an upper air of whatever hitbox it's Roy. that they're chewing. <laughs> Roy has confirms upon confirms. Even his missed confirms find confirms. That's it. Stop Fair. not playing his character. I'm tired. Roy won a major. I don't want to hear it. Going for the counter. Nice pieces from Fair Mr. Fahrenheit. The That's thunder true. coming out as well as stuff at that space. And there's a good opening. Gonna be missing the us smash, however. Still looking uh, favorable for helper so far. Although we are down two stocks, is looking much better now. Got the up air connection. And now we're down 2-1 uh, only. Helper sub 50%. Not horrible in the world, but you are like we've been saying. So has to be a little bit careful before Mr. Fahrenheit starts wrap wrapping up the uh, temperature again. Yeah, need something big here. The small combo will do it. Oh, but a nice conversion. Pivoting into a drop through the platform, double jump up air into up B. That is a slick confirm for a lot of damage. Helper starting to play a little bit a counter ledge, but oh, nothing's gonna be able to counterplay that hard ass read. It was a very hard read. My man said you can go behind me, don't worry about it. I'm gonna turn around and forward smash you. That is me Just antics, I fear. Just <laughs> swing it. And like space per to perfection too. Like that oh, was yes. Like, we'll see right now with the amazing technology from House, we have instant replays. What it's always so interesting is like measuring different tech roll spacings because like every character has slightly different tech rolls. Mm -hmm. Some are much farther, some much shorter. He was like perfect to get right next to you and yeah. have Roy Sweet Spot just cleave Sora in half. They don't see the y'all don't see that I'm being cleaved in half right now. I am a I very fear. I am Italian. I am Italian. <laughs> I speak with my hands. I am a I am a it's physical okay. That's all of every Latin person, don't worry. Hey, that's all of us. All Roman languages, like we do the same thing. Uh like <laughs> True true, <y> true <laughs> Devin. Yes. What's up? I'm sorry, let me not <laughs> what's the meatball? <laughs> When the moon hits your own. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We're getting even game right now. Game two was turning up pretty hot for Helper, but now Mr. Fire has been really kicked it back in his favor. We're on the ledge once more, where we have been seeing a lot of payoff. Big jab, but no connection on the back here. But we continue on with that four tilt coming through once more. Sora, I'm sorry, Helper getting the upbeat on those whiff, oh, not even whiff, those uh, nares on shield. And this is a really good opportunity for Helper to bring it back. The Thundaga almost coming out, but not going to connect the right, right the way that he was expecting. Uh, missed the chat opportunity for a counter attack, maybe thanks to depleting Mr. Fahrenheit's resources, but instead allowing the Roy to come back to stage is so, so dangerous. But there's the counter attack, uh, anticipating that Fahrenheit was going to play aggro, which is he has been doing. All of his block strings have been multiple hits, like two to three times. You're seeing like Landing fair down to jab, landing fair two jabs. Like you're seeing an up tempo game plan. The best way to counteract that is to slow things down and take command of that game state while still finding some good damage of your own. Helper with a small little confirm to try to extend his lead. Oh, this sword is not going to be dying anytime soon. Although we are at the rare 141%, that should not kill either. Roy Uppy is specifically a weak move, looking very strong, but very easy to not die to it. If you die to it, like, 140, please. Check your SDI. Very but 
we're going to be seeing Mr. Fairheim still trying to wrap it up. We have help our 162%, which is very rare for a Sora player. The second one, however, Ruby connecting all the that outside of the stage at that percentage. And finally, Mr. Fairheim has a footing back in this matchup as Helper comes straight down with the aggression with those nares. Once again, Sora being so well known for them. But the, oh, I love the, I love that we didn't go for the JR instead. No jump. But you have Sonic played. And I'm, I'm in agreement there, Matt. Like, trying to extend damage here is more important. And after a jab at these percents, you get double fair. You get maybe, like, double up air. You have a lot more potential. Just taking the jump with that forward air, though. Helper swinging out a disadvantage, swinging out a hit stun even, and still connects on Mr. Fahrenheit trying to make it back to stage. That's a nice way in order to gain some lead back after uh, Fahrenheit was starting to put on some good damage once the stocks got even. You're absolutely right, and I think you know, Mr. Fire having a little bit of that of that uh, that trouble, being a little more a little bit over aggressive at times. Yeah. Where in this matchup, Sora is so floaty, and he has great rec one of the best recoveries in the game with the mix-ups. I mean, to go that far is very confident, and it did you know burn him a little bit here. We are on our last stock, and Helper is only making sure that he is going to make bring this to a game three closer and closer. Nice weight on that counter, gonna be instead punishing Helper over to the other side of the stage, trying to go for that Thundaga, which has been a big thorn in Miss Fairhide's backside. Helper going with the fake out, gonna be staying on the left side of the stage and getting the Blizzaga to boot, as well as the Fire Rocket into the into the dash attack. So that is really good. Going for the side B straight off of that ledge, and Helper is continuing on, trying to maintain uh even this high percentage. Nice Blizzaga, what? He had the read too. Excuse me, that helper was going to delay it just that little bit. And then the aerial sweep out of shield, DI down and away is going to keep Mr. Fahrenheit alive. But got to wonder for how long all these up airs, all these back airs, a second aerial sweep will take the cake. Getting us to a 1 1 game count here, Mott. Helper looking a little bit stressed, but definitely seemed more in control in game number two. You're absolutely right. I mean, uh, once he kind of he, he forced me to slow down the game the way that Sora oh, yeah. just can. You can just stall it out, not in a bad way, just like a slow it down, stall out, go under the stage. You have to fake out the side you're going to so utilize more of those magic powers that Sora does have. I mean, the specials as well. You know, Mr. Fairheight was forced to slow down to a pace that he was not comfortable with, but now we're going to be seeing a swap over here, going to be going over to Smashville. Dangerous stage to be certain when it comes to just how uh, potent the punish game is. On both sides, though, Helper has not been really exploiting some of the platform extensions that Sora has to offer. We know he can pull them out of the drop of a hat uh, should the opportunity arise. Instead, he's choosing much prefer to try and drag things horizontally and get things into consistent, repeatable conditions of which the ledge often provides. Over down throw into the upper, very good start for Mr. Oh, Fahrenheit. And the ledge, gonna be a great position for him as well. Can we get this down there? Unfortunately not, but we do get the soft nail that jab in order to kind of knock Helper off his feet from being able to recover to the stage. The down be not connecting, but the f connecting side beat is gonna be enough to help Helper get back off stage. And although this is where he likes to be a little more comfortable, Mr. Fahrenheit has now taken complete dominance of this area. Now the catching the, uh, the air dodge towards the st center stage with a down tilt for Helper, so good. But it's been a lot of trades back and forth, back and forth. Now it's Mr. Fahrenheit, these uh, up airs into the forward air as well. I mean, to the back air as well. Now, can we get another edge guard here? It's a big question of the day. Nice. Going into the, the up throw instead. I like that. Yeah, they're checking each other very well, but always sticking to the same game plan. They're like, I'm trying to pressure at ledge, but it's Helper just and his adaptation to play slightly offbeat and slightly away from the ledge grab uh, before actually grabbing the ledge itself has been so, so potent. That time slipping a little bit too far underneath the stage, and that's where Mr. Fahrenheit has been pressuring all of this time since game one. He's trying to make sure that Helper has a hard time getting off of ledge and taking absolutely some damage before resetting back to neutral. Absolutely, down going throw. for the down throw into the up air. Gonna be getting a soft hit, so Helper able to kind of slide himself out of there into the turnaround back throw. Love to see it. I'm not gonna be able to get Mr. Fire quite yet, but... We oh, did it. We did it, yippee! Oh my god, the amount of times I've seen Bloodshot double jump from Roy, it's like you are playing and flirting with death, but Helper finally uh, finding a major punish on that in order to get back to two stocks apiece. But none of his nares are really connecting in the way he wants to. He wants to land like the early or the mid part of nair. Instead, he's getting like a lot of glancing blows. There it is. A solid conversion or to set up for off stage, but nothing more than 55. And after going off stage, you fall victim to just the instant run up jab, converting into a stock and putting Mr. Fahrenheit on tournament point. 
Looking very scared for Hopper right now. Loving the Nair loop, however, and sending Mr. Fahrenheit back off stage. Oh, I think we're going to jump on try to go for a counter, but yeah, thankfully it would have ping it right back up with the Blizzaga instead. The U Smash on shield big, and actually going to be interrupting the upbeat from Sora before it can go for the Sonic Blade. So this is a very good opportunity for Mr. Fahrenheit to start bringing this right back up. Do you see him jump over the down smash? We're so smart. Yeah, we are, we are playing evasive. We're not going to try and fully rely on shield. That roll was very nice for Mr. Fahrenheit. Nair wanted into jab back air and a slick conversion and the pressure from offstage continues and Helper surprised doing probably that classic Sora thing where uh, any character with a really, really long distance recovery can just hold towards the blast zone and no one really is able to hit them. You're able to recover on your own time, uh -huh. but Mr. Fahrenheit was had zero remorse. It's like, I'm going out there and I'm trying to hit you whether I lose this stock or not. The plan was to edge guard at all levels and at all spacings and worked out pretty well. Did it very beautifully, uh, just so I can, you know, I can add a little bit to conversation because, you know, you're the analyst. I mean, I'm not the analyst, nothing. I... <laughs> They played good. <laughs> they, they did do that. They did No, they both played very well, I will say. Helper, sorry, bring it back a little bit. And this soft fit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at Helper's face, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. We're going in for the, the, the long run. Bro actually said wow. No, he actually said wow. I know this man. He said wow. Yeah, you can you can see it in the, in the blue line. It's soft hit, but he's holding up and away. Like, he is flat out like I'm trying to be as close to the blast zone without dying as possible because I'm Sora. I could have a crazy double jump and you get aerial sweep into Sonic Blade. You can recover from wherever, but you just... That's the the victim of Sora and the balancing factor is that his recovery hitboxes are only really good close to the left.